Good day guys, you're my name is Tao here. Welcome to the Godox Light Modifier 101. Today, we are going to discuss the Light Modifier, Grid and Snoot. Both Grid and Snoot are used to restrict the spread of light. They can help to restrict light spill and focus the light on your main subject. Or even focus the light on certain body part of your model. Both grid and snoot can come with different degrees to represent the width of light beam. The smaller the degree is, the tighter the light beam is. Both snoot and grid can be attached to standard modifier or bare bulb. Take 8300 Pro as example, snoot and grid can be attached to compact standard reflector via AD-AS adapter. Snoot in general has a tighter light beam output than grid. In addition, the edge of the light beam is usually more defined. Power-wise, we lose about a third stop of the light output in center when using grid. Lose about one stop of light output when using snoot. Grid can be attached to larger modifiers such as softbox, beauty dish, the edge of the grid light beam is relevantly faded. Please check the previous Godox Light Modifier 101 series on Softbox and Beauty Dish for more details. Should you use grid or snoot? Well, it totally depends on how focused you want your light beam to be and what kind of fall off you're after. In this tutorial, let's take the 8300 Pro grid, which is the BD10, and the 8300 Pro Snoot, which is SN04, as example. At the distance of 2.5 meters, you can see that the standard reflector has a white spill on the wall and ground. The grid focuses the light beam on the model's upper body and smoothly feathered off throughout her leg. There is little spill on the wall. Snoot further tights the light beam with more defined edge there is almost no light on the model's leg, and there is almost no light on the wall. And here's another example at the distance of 60 cm. Notice the grid focuses the light on her head and the neck, and fades off on her shoulder. Snoot further tights the light beam on her face, and fades off on her neck. Start from low light and make sure there is nearly no ambient. The UB165W umbrella is used as a fill for the model's shadow details. For how to use an umbrella, please check the previous Light Modifier 101 episode on umbrella for details. Grade was used as a key light to light up the model's face. Snoot was used to create a pocket of light on the background. I attached the blue gel on the umbrella and purple gel on the snoot, which adds in dramatic color contrast. The same scenario can be applied on location. Comparing with natural light only, which is a bit flat and cold, the snoot makes the model skin glowing as the face looks almost like it is lit by the golden hour sun. I always start from no light, make sure there is no destructive ambient. QRP120 parabolic softbox with orange gel and grid is used to lit up her face. Please refer to the previous Godox Light Modifier 101 episode on parabolic softbox for details on how to use a softbox with grid. QRP90 parabolic softbox with blue gel and grid is used as hair light. You can sort of see the smoke there, but there is not enough light to make the smoke pop. Snoot brings extra dimension to this image. It's an observable highlight spot at the top left of the image. As a backlight source, it also makes the smoke more apparent. 
subtle, but it makes the whole world of difference. On location, it's the same scenario. We can use the snoot to mimic the sun at a perfect height, which fits right into the model's hand. Godox offers one-stop solution for all your photography needs. From flash, LED lights, to light stands, and of course, a wide range of modifiers. Thank you so much for watching. This is your man Iris Tao. I will see you the next time.